on February uh, 1st. Let's take a closer look at the markets ahead of today's uh, data. Joining us now is Mira Panda, J.P. Morgan Asset Management, a global market strategist, and Lindsay Piegza Stiefel, uh, chief economist. Mira, uh, you, you're, you seem a little conflictive, uh, like all of us, I think. There's a lot of bad news in the markets already. And uh, since the markets do discount maybe better than the rest of us on what's going to happen in, in the future, uh, the markets are discounting something. Um, is, it an, a, is it a soft landing? Is, is it no recession at all? And is it set up for if there were a, a, a bad recession? It, it, that's not in the markets right now, is it? The market doesn't necessarily seem to be set up for a severe recession, but certainly the consensus is that there will be a recession in 2023, although likely something a bit milder. I'm not sure that that's fully priced in yet, but I, I also don't think the upside surprise of a soft landing is necessarily what is in the cards. So what we're likely to see, though, is as we progress through the year, if we continue to see some weakening on economic growth, some further slump in the markets. But what we've tended to see over time is that markets bottom before the worst of the economic trough, before earnings, before the labor market hits its most challenging period. So we would expect that while markets could move a little bit lower from here, depending on how the economy continues to play out, it's not necessarily priced for an upside of a, of a a soft landing. So if there was one thing that you could know about the next 12 months, would it be uh, economic growth whether, whether or, or lack thereof? Is that what you'd like to know to, to make decisions in, in a portfolio? I think right now, if I had a wish list of one thing I could know for the rest of the year, it would actually probably be inflation, because what we're, we're concerned about and what we're curious about is, look, I don't think it's going to be that hard for inflation to move from 7 percent to 4 percent. And we could probably get to a 4 percent year over year headline number by this summer. The challenge is, how does how does that number move from 4 percent closer to the Fed's 2 percent target? And that is going to govern what goes on with rates. While we do think the Fed is going to pause around 5 percent, what we want to make sure is that inflation comes down once and for all. And even if we don't get all the way down to that 2 percent target, it, it stays within a lower range. So inflation is really going to dictate what the Fed does. The Fed is really going to di dictate what the market does. Lindsay, what do you have a higher degree of confidence that, that you know for sure, the economic growth or, or the inflation? But what can you help Mira with? Well, I think the inflation picture is going to be uh, much more complicated than the market is anticipating. As we've seen, the market and the Fed really underestimate the sticky nature of prices. So right now, there still is a lot of optimism that we're going to continue this nice downward tra trajectory in terms of headline costs. But again, a lot of the improvement that we've seen has been very much concentrated, particularly in energy costs, which is likely to be, again, reflected in this morning's report. When we move outside of energy and look at key components, components like food, like housing. Here, prices are continuing to rise, again, complicating the inflation picture for the Fed. In fact, when we strip out food and energy and just look at the core inflation report, we only have two data points of improvement, with that annual pace peaking only as recently as September. And so from the Fed's perspective, with that as a backdrop, with wages still elevated up near 5 percent, they're going to be 100 percent focused on staying the course to drive down inflation. They made a policy error on the front end, maintaining that transitory language, maintaining crisis level accommodation well beyond what was appropriate. They're not about to make a policy error on the back end by taming inflation uh, retreating policy too soon.